One of the things that I started to pick up on is most people, just being in the business world, I'm very conscious of and interact with HR. Most people are going to HR for major life events, but for some reason, we're not reporting divorce, even though HR is having to come in on the split of the retirement accounts, the split of the health insurance, how many, you know, is this person tenured? Are they vested? You know, all this stuff, HR is being involved. Additionally, businesses are being required to produce all these employment documents. Banks are being required to produce all these documents. You know, everybody's involved if you're in a divorce case and if you're in a full out litigation case, principals, teachers, family members, the whole nine yards. So HR gets involved, business gets involved, employers get involved because they're being drug into it. They don't want to be involved. They're being forced to be involved. So now they're being forced to figure out what's going on because their productivity is off the charts going down on these employees and they're getting caught in litigation. They're distracted. So Casey Sowers actually just did a full body research where 6,800 people self-reported their own productivity loss and their own feelings. I mean, these people are self-reporting that they're doing poor work. That's pretty strong. And from his research now, and we're able to have some employers be able to kind of calculate what they would be looking at as productivity loss. So invest in your employees, give them resources, EAP programs so that they can, you know, have these out of court resources, mediation, collaborative, arbitration, settlement, negotiation, save the time in court to be able to have resources like you guys to be able to understand what's going on so they can make easy, efficient decisions. And they're not getting caught up in these long protracted divorce processes, resources to be able to help them get through this process in an efficient manner to get back to work. Also at work options, you know, people who they can talk to that are going through this too, because this is difficult. This is not easy. We know this. This is a very difficult time in people's lives to be able to offer and understand that PTO time can be used for your court hearing, you know, so that people feel like they're not at risk of losing their job. They can open up that conversation. Now, you know, there's a line, of course, work should not be involved in your personal life, but to a certain extent. But if those resources can, can be given and you can kind of help people to understand their other options, increase this awareness, now you're starting to take away at those productivity numbers and you're helping the quality of life of your employees, which is very important. So this has been a, uh, this is a new thing that's coming around. I just spoke with Lorman, which does continuing education for HR directors and companies. And so now those resources are out there. There's a new a EAP program that's just been developed by Equal parents' rights. I, I don't remember the exact thing, but it's, you know, all kinds of resources, financial resources, hotlines, you know, things like that so that people can start to have the things like you and I do to be able to stay out of court and keep control over their lives. Now, if court is your only option, the other person has chosen court, there are plenty of reasons why that's the case. It's not that you should never go to court. There are some ways that you have to go to court. If you do, to be able to have that information like the services you go, you guys provide, so that you know what you're doing and you're able to reduce the amount of the protracted discovery processes. It's about trying to get in and out of this process as efficiently as possible so that we can get back to focusing on our children, running our families, moving on, creating this next life that should be wonderful. I mean, if you're going to have to go through this, either it's chosen for you or you're choosing it, then we should be building a solid foundation from the foundation up of this new life house that you're about to have on the other side having this yeah. financial information from you guys, making informed decisions in the legal process, that's part of that concrete pillars. Mm -hmm.